So last week I talked about pruning my apple trees in the fall to give them some shape. And that's pretty good advice wherever you happen to live. Now, there's a tip that I'm gonna give you right now that differs whether you live in a cold winter climate or a warm winter climate. Now in, in cold winter climates, your trees, your deciduous fruit trees like apples, pears, peaches, nectarines, plums, they lose their leaves pretty much like clockwork every fall in cold winter climates. And so right around this time, you can give them a good feeding of a well-balanced fertilizer as they're going dormant. If you live in a warm winter climate, you don't want to do that because we don't have the cold that forces the trees automatically into dormancy. We have to help it along. And we do that a couple of different ways. Number one, we do not feed our deciduous fruit trees in the fall. So if you live in a warm winter climate, like I do, no more food, no more fertilizer this year. The second way is by withholding water. Now you don't wanna make them dry out where they die, but uh, depending on your location and soil, you may not have to water at all. Now, our rainy season starts next month. I probably won't be watering these apple trees again. They got a good watering last week. Um, but they need to lose their leaves. And so dry conditions help them do that. The third way, and which is the most laborious and the part, the one I hate, although you do get, it's, it's satisfying because you can see a huge difference when you're done, is maybe in November, December, if the tree is gonna lose its leaves, it will have. Um, if not, gotta do it by hand. Because when you leave old leaves on the trees, and the new growth starts coming out um, between January and March, wherever you happen to live, it can actually encourage disease if you've got the old leaves still stuck on there and the new leaves are trying to push out in nearly the same spot. So just a tip between warm winter versus cold winter deciduous fruit trees.